we visited all our facilities. So certainly after Tawuki, we, we then went to Rabitaki nursing station. We visited uh, Rabitaki community and talked to them. And also to Nalotu nursing station and talked to the community in Yale, uh, in Yawe. And then we went down to Davigele Health Center and also talked to the community to Nubukilebo. We slept in Namalata and the next day we on Papa Deva side we went to Soso to Turangatu in Deva and also Sensor Nursing Station where we indicated that we want to upgrade that to a health center and put a nurse practitioner there. Then we went to Wather Lab and Nursing Station uh, and then on to Ono in Bangara where the nursing station is and back to Vam Vam there where the uh, the uh, Marabatu Ono is. And then we came and slept the night in Nakasaleka, Toronto in Nakasa, and we had a town session. And the next day we came around uh, to Rakiraki in Yale, uh, uh, where we had our nursing station in uh, Nasele. And then we made our way over to Drue, to Toronto in Drue. One thing that is uh, very certain, uh, and uh, even after we came back to Winsa, is that uh, certainly there are some. Uh, Minor works that needs to be done in uh, some of our stations. Uh, we are reprioritizing and reorganizing ourselves in terms of our primary healthcare component. We want to be able to ensure that there's access to not only nursing but also doctors. And that's why we want to lift uh, the standards of one of the nursing stations to be able to meet that demand. The other thing was that um, we were able to uh, also visit the schools. So our team went to the schools and provided sanitizers and also for masks to every school. There were some schools that had indicated beforehand that they wanted some support with beds for their hospital base. So uh, certainly those are some of the things that we were able to support them with. And also we were able to uh, uh, also talk to the uh, village health workers. Uh, interesting in uh, in uh, taken out of uh, Sanima, uh, there's two male village health workers um, and uh, as a minister I'm uh, uh, quite impressed uh, with the work that's been done by our staff on the ground. I've reminded them they have to continue to give their best and work very hard as they support our people here at Kandau, that they must embrace uh, the place and the people and uh, feel at home uh, but also uh, it is imperative that uh, that they begin to understand uh, what are the uh, you know what are the important uh, health issues that uh, prevalent in Kandawi, the difficult geographical areas, and how we can work with the community. We have the community health workers, we have the Turani Koros, and obviously we have the Wanua and the chiefs that we can rely on. Uh, and um, you know being here for a few days and spending time with the chiefs and our staff and with the other government agencies and also working with Turangana Lulini Bosin Nibunua, Bosin Yesana. I think it's been overall a, a very useful visit. Uh, we've been able to hand over this morning um, the, uh, the boat, Vatundui uh, Tangi, for the Bunisea Hospital that will support them in their work. And, you know, and as we leave Bunisea to head up to Kavala, uh, I know that uh, you know we've been able to uh, support our people here, we've been able to encourage them, we've been able to thank them, but we've also asked them, been able to ask them to refocus and uh, you know really re-energize themselves for the, for the year ahead of them as uh, you know we look after our people in Kandau. Kandau has a lot of potential, has a lot of opportunities, uh, it's close to Suba, you know, we have the ship that's coming two times a week, play flights, uh, you know, quite a few times a week. Uh, lots of opportunities for agriculture, and tourism, several areas, fisheries. And our role as Minister of Health is to ensure that our people can, you know, can uh, uh, be able to, you know, strengthen and support themselves economically. But be rest assured that whenever they, they need any health needs, we are there to support them and, uh, you know, to look after them and work with them in the proactive part of health. One thing that I kept on, you know, saying to, to the communities is that they need to make use of the nursing station. So, you know, uh, to the elderly people to, you know, walk down to the nursing station, come by at least once 
a week, once a month, get blood, blood, blood tested, blood pressure tested, the, the sugar tested, get their weight tested, have the nursing stations, all the health center, look at them. But they are there, you know, and they are paid, obviously, you know, to be their station on the uh, island station. So, you know, it is not only for when you get very, very sick, but even when somebody has a light ailment in the community, that is a time to go early. Rather than coming, you know, when you're there very, very sick. Uh, so that's one message that I've been putting across to them. But also the important message that um, in the, uh, you know, the 8OK policies that have been here for quite a while, even before independence, it was in, always uh, important uh, part of the, the policy in the village meetings that uh, there are three main topics. One is education, the other one development, and thirdly is, is health. And I just wanted to keep on asking the chiefs and also the villagers to remember never to leave health out of their village discussions. So whenever they have a village discussion, they have a nearby nursing station, invite the nurse over to come and talk, invite the doctor over to come and talk. Have an agenda, a recurring agenda in their village discussions about health. Because what COVID is showing us is that, you know, we need to work together uh, to protect the health of our community. And, it, you know, it's all about talking about it. And the more we talk about it, the more, the more we, we desire as a group, because, you know, in Fiji we are very communal in, in the things that we do. Then as, the more we desire as a group and the more we can encourage one another to head towards a more healthy lifestyle. It's also very uh, reassuring uh, to be able to see that some of the villages uh, in the, this week are actually uh, on a tambu, so they're not drinking grog, smoking. Uh, and, you know, when we visited uh, them, uh, you know, we were able to have a cup of tea with them. And I said, look, you know, uh, you know this is actually interesting, something that we should share with uh, other communities that uh, not necessarily when we do meet that we have to share sip seal that we can actually just sit down and talk and have a cup of tea because that's they are showing that they also value health by doing it uh, even though it's part of the religious uh, you know uh, belief but also by doing that they also encourage a healthy lifestyle for themselves